Good morning, guys. We're on our last day of Disney. I'm sad about the fact that I'm leaving Disney. Not the fact that I'm leaving the school. The fact that I'm leaving Disney. I did not film last night, so I apologize for not being an outro. The reason I didn't film was that it was a really upsetting, hectic night. Now we're going to Hollywood Studios, and then later we're going to park hop to Epcot. We're only park out hopping once. Which is good because we're gonna have more park time. So the goal for today is 14, kind of like yesterday, but we're hoping that we can have 17, but we'll see how it goes. We're on the bus headed towards Hollywood Studios. Like I said, we have six to seven rides to ride. We are at Hollywood Studios. Runaway Railway is kind of looking long, but I think we're still gonna go ahead and do it while it's not over an hour. Beautiful morning. Headed to the Chinese Theater for Runaway Railway. I love mornings in Hollywood Studios, honestly. It's just a certain vibe I get from this park, kind of like Animal Kingdom. It's changed over the years. I like the way it is now, more than kind of more than the way it used to be. Those MGM Studios. You never went to MGM Studios. Yes, I have. We're entering the Runaway Railway line. It's a posted 50 minute wait, but as always, we're gonna clock it. Let's do it. So we're already almost in the show building, and so far it's only been a 20 minute wait. So I really don't think we're gonna be waiting 50. Just wanna do a little cheap fit check real quick. I do have a fantastic shirt that I've been trying to get my hands on for a long time, and I finally got it. And then I have my classic Soren ears, these are my favorite ears that I have, so, but I mean, they are kind of heavy actually, but besides that, I love them. Like, I love the way that they look. They're so pretty and they're very detailed. Going in the show building now and then when we get there, it's pretty much just like a couple turns and then it's a kind of a straight shot. So, definitely not a 50 minute wait. I think maybe 40 at the most, but I think we're, I'm still tracking it, so we'll see. I'm wondering if any of y'all are probably thinking to yourself, do I prefer this ride over a great movie ride? And the answer is absolutely not. Even though I really do adore this attraction, I I just I'd rather it like be placed somewhere else. Like there's so many places that they can have it. Not where the great movie ride is, because I freaking love the great movie rides. The great movie ride, that was Wolf's vision, and that was a that was a huge part of this park when this was MGM Studios, because this park was supposed to be about filmmaking. And now it's really lost its purpose. It's not MGM anymore, and it's Hollywood Studios. Had to get a film of this. It's my absolute favorite Mickey Mouse short, Potato Land. I actually am very familiar with the shorts because I've watched them when I was younger. They they weren't like something that has always been around for me. They were something that came out when I was like 10 or so. I don't really know exactly how old I was. So yeah, I've never seen that one. I've really only seen like season one and season two. Tokyo Go is a season one classic. Yodelberg is also up there with some of my favorites. It's a season one. And boom, we have it. This is the very first Mickey Mouse short. Jane Ellen's favorite. Bad news, so we did not get on Runaway Railway because it broke. We're gonna head on Star Tours and then we're gonna get some breakfast. The park is absolutely packed today besides Muppet Vision 3D and um, Alien Swirling Saucers and Star Tours. Everything's over an hour. And by the way, let me just mention, Alien Swirling Saucers is like, it's similar to the teacups, but I actually like it better than the teacups. That one's 40 minutes. And it usually is that wait time because it's like a filler attraction for kids who like it. And I just, I don't see the hype. I, I think I've rode that right thing. Star Tours is usually fairly low because nobody really goes to it anymore and it's 35. And then Muppets is usually always. Yeah, last time I went. Star Tours is a 40 minute wait. We got in at 10.10, so of course we're gonna clock it. We're moving and grooving through this line. Posted 40 minute wait. So far we've waited 12 minutes. This is, yeah, this is definitely an underrated ride. It's a big ride from my childhood. Cause when I was little, the big rides, like the best, the, the top three best ones in the park that you wanted to book a fast pass for was this Tower of Terror and Toy Story Mania before Toy Story Land was a big thing. It's been 17 minutes and we're already at the place. 
we're probably gonna be on the ride in about five minutes. We just got off of Star Tours, 27 minute wait. Nowhere even really close to 40. We're headed to Smuggler's Run. We have a GE Plus for it, so we should be on in a matter of minutes. We're gonna request to be pilots because obviously that is the best thing to do. And we're really excited. Navigate. Engine is to operate the ship and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Oh, the Millennium Falcon. On low for some very fast and very profitable expeditions. Right on down, team. Good luck out there. Two by two facing me, pilots in the front, gunners behind them. That was awesome. We were pilots. I went ahead and ordered some green milk. I've never had green milk before because every time I come, I get the blue. But I figured I would actually switch it up today. I just wanted to try something new. So I'm about to, I mobile ordered it. I'm about to go pick it up right now. Here's the milk stand. So I'm extremely excited to go pick it up. I always thought that those orbs had milk in them. Then I found out that they were just orbs. First time drinking the green milk. I've never ever had the green milk before. I always get the blue one. Mm. It's it's like, I don't know. I kind of like the blue one better, but this one, actually, I don't know. It's kind of tough. This one kind of tastes like cleaner. And I have a thing about food that tastes like cleaner. But besides that, it's pretty good. Having like brunch at Ronto Roasters. I'm gonna get a Ronto wrap, and then I think after this, we'll probably head to Toy Story. Here's my Ronto wrap. I got one for Jane Ellen too. Jane Ellen, do you like it? Mm. <laughs> She's just hungry. 11.30 right now, and we're heading back to Runaway Railway because we were planning to only do six to seven rides in this park today. Nope. Mickey's, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is a 75 minute posted wait. We just got in at 11.55. 12 minutes in and we're already kind of close to where we were when we started. And we were almost on in a 25 minute wait. So now I'm kind of expecting a 37 minute wait, so let's see. This line is not moving as well as I thought it was gonna be. We've been in the line for about 45 minutes now. We've waited 57 minutes and we are finally inside the Chinese theater. The line is somewhat moving, not very much. We just got off the ride. It was 80 minutes. We are headed to Toy Story Mania. 80 minute wait. The waits are outrageous today. There's really nothing we can do about it. When we get to Epcot, we won't have this problem. We're in the line for Toy Story Mania and it's already going a lot quicker than 80 minutes. I'm sure it's not going to be 80 minutes. I'll let you know how much long we actually waited for it. Also, I'll give you a hint. This is the bottom of the clap. Get out the way. So we just got off Toy Story Midway Mania and we're heading to Rock and Roller Coaster for our Genie Plus. Toy Story, Mi Toy Story Midway Mania was a posted 80 minute wait. We waited 45 minutes. So I'm very actually happy with that. We just got off Rock and Roller Coaster. I didn't vlog like anything over there because I wanted to keep my phone up. I was very nervous about riding the ride with my bag. Unfortunately, we're not riding Tower of Terror because the ride is 130 minutes. That's over two hours and we don't have that type of time. I'm ending the day at Hollywood Studios with a shaken Jamaican cold brew at Joffrey's, of course. This is the best Disney World coffee, and it's exactly what I needed. We're currently at Caribbean Beach Resort, getting on a Skyliner to go to Epcot. We had to get off the other one, and we're stuck here to get on. It's just led to Epcot. We made it to Epcot. So it is Flower and Garden, and I didn't think I was going to get anything, but I've been wanting to try these for a really long time, so I decided to just get it. It was a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be, so I'm just going to enjoy this little snack, and then we're going to head to Test Track. 
They're really good, but they they pretty much just taste like the ones from Taco Bell. So I don't know if it was really worth it, but at least now we know. Decided just to head to Mission Space. I'm Neil. I'm going by myself because they didn't want to ride it. I don't blame them. A lot of people say that this ride makes them sick. I don't have a problem with it myself, but we're gonna ride the more intense one. And then Space 220, the new restaurant is over there. Obviously, I've never ate there because it's brand new. I really want to eat there one day, but I feel like it's gonna be really expensive. I really do like this ride. However, I feel like one day I am gonna get stuck with somebody who is gonna get sick, but we'll see. Posted 10 minute wait. Walked right on to the pre show. It's crazy how times are changing. I used to book Fast Pass for this when I was younger. There was a maintenance issue, so I'm still just sitting here waiting to go. Some other people with me, but. Just got out of vision space. It was great. Now, time to go check up with Jane. I think we're about to go do Soren. Look at this fan I'm getting. I love it. We popped in the Soren line, Genie Plus, of course. We're about to get on. And just look my ears and the ride. You can tell how much I really love Soren, and it reminds me of my mom, so I love it even more. Soren was a dream, as always. Loved it. It was so peaceful. It was honestly exactly what I needed right now. Headed to Living with the Land. We have a genie for it, because why not? I love it. That is actually one of my favorite rides for, for a reason. I don't even know why I love it so much, but I just do. So we're going to go ride that. Just got in the queue for Living with the Land. And I got in the lightning lanes, I had a genie. This is, once again, one of my absolute favorite rides. And we're about to get on right now. I'll film some of it because it's a pretty long ride, so I can film. I mean, y'all, come on. Who would not love this ride? This, believe it or not, this is the ride that I used to beg my mom to take me on when I was a kid. And sometimes she would, and sometimes she wouldn't because she thought it was lame. And that, maybe that's why I like it so much because my mom never let me ride it. <laughs> right now we're in the aquaculture room. Fun fact, if you've ever eaten at the Garden Grill, which if you never have, I extremely recommend it. Don't go to Sunshine Seasons, pay the extra money and go to Garden Grill, especially for breakfast. The breakfast is amazing. All these crops is what they serve to you at the Garden Grill. So it's really cool how they was, they um, actually do use all these, these plants. plants are definitely and if you, really, if you want to eat these plants, innovative growing techniques like then these definitely go to the garden grow. While and more efficiently using resources um, also, like water, they have fertilizer, and pesticides. The, like the land experience thing where you can get like a backstage tour of all these plants. It's really cool if you ever want to try that. If you have enough time, obviously. Like Just left the land pavilion. Goodbye, land. So I'm gonna miss you so much. Headed to the Seas Pavilion for the Nemo ride. And yes, we have Genie Plus. So it should be a walk on because the wait time is usually very low for this ride. This is my childhood favorite ride. This and Winnie the Pooh. This ride in particular is what I usually remembered when I was a child. Like this is what I thought of when I thought of going to Disney World. I don't know, where's the arrow pointing to? <laughs> I love you, Jane Ellen. <laughs> it's okay, I understand. Yes, yeah, some may say the ride's outdated and I'll join in on that. It is a little bit outdated. But I'm more than happy it's still around. I would definitely cry my eyes out if it left. <laughs> I love Nemo. I'll tell you firsthand that the ride doesn't exactly correlate 
with the movie. I mean, it kind of does. Like, it's the same story, but at the same time, it's a little different. Also, something that a lot of people seem to overlook is the Seas Pavilion over there. And when I'm not on a time schedule like I am today, I like to visit. And there's a like there's actually special animals that I like to see when I come here. But today, unfortunately, we have to go to test track while the line is still low. One of my favorite things about the Nemo ride is that, and this isn't new or anything, but it includes the In the Big Blue World song that I absolutely adore. I literally listen to this song in the car. It's always been on the ride and the song's not in the movie. They actually created it like for Disney World, but it's really nice to hear in Disney World because Finding Nemo the Musical has been down for quite some time now, which makes me upset. I actually enjoy that more than The Lion King because I grew up on Finding Nemo. I didn't really grow up on The Lion King. I kind of had to watch that one on my own. So it's really nice to hear that in Disney World. But anyways, we are headed to Test Track because the line got really, really low. And we definitely want to ride it. It's a 45 minute wait. And we're gonna ride single rider, so we're not really gonna clock it, but as long as it's slower than 45, we should be fine. Change of plans, Test Track sparked to 65 minutes in those few minutes that I was on the Nemo ride. So I booked a Genie Plus for Spaceship Earth. We're headed there now. Spaceship Earth is my favorite ride in this park. It tells a really good story about the development of society from a really long time ago to now. It's a really important history lesson. I think that my history teachers should take us here <laughs> so we can ride this ride. That should be our lesson, a 300 point grade. I have a shirt from this ride that I got on Etsy and it says, if you can read this, thank the Phoenicians. And that's because um, there's a famous line in the ride that only really diehards know about and it says remember how easy it was to learn your abcs thank the phoenicians they invented them because it's true the phoenicians did invent the alphabet that we use today the english alphabet well the new english alphabet so that is a funny little joke and so happy to be in this area i haven't been this close to the ball yet so i'm excited this is room burning smells. This is the Renaissance period, and Michelangelo paints this, the um, Sistine Chapel ceiling. This ride actually is what I remember a lot of history from, not history class, and that it definitely contributes to my history grade because I think about this ride and then answer. I absolutely love this scene, but my best friend says that this looks like my mom's boyfriend. It kind of does. The bubble gum ball. Headed to test track, even though it has an 80 minute wait, we're gonna do single rider. I just wanna take a minute to say, Jade Ellen did not wanna be a part of my YouTube channel at all when I first told her about it. And now she wants to chime into the videos. I'm so happy. Test track is supposed to be a minute wait. We do not have, here, come here. We do not have Judy, so we're gonna be riding in single rider. 85 minutes my butt. We are about to walk on the ride. So it's been five minutes. By the time we get on the ride, it'll probably have been like 10 minutes. So not bad at all, especially for this ride. That's really good. Test track was absolutely delightful. Fun fact, um, test track is the fastest ride in Walt Disney World, which probably surprises some people, but yes, faster than the rock and roller coaster. Um, faster than anything, it reaches speeds of 64.9 miles per hour. So that makes it the fastest ride in Walt Disney World. We are headed to Figment now. I have a Genie Plus, and then we're going to be completely done with Future World. 
Doing our lightning lane for figment. Figment fun fact, this ride was immediately a huge success. Thank you. Thank you. When it first came, and then they ended up changing it, they made it without Figment, the public hated it, and it didn't have the Imagination song. So they eventually changed it, into a little combination of both known as Journey into Imagination with Figment. And that is what we have today. Imagine different things from just the sound. Your mind has wings. gone for a while and now it's finally back but it's not the rainbow tunnel like you can't walk through it it's a treat I adore Figment I have these ears already <laughs> and I don't have many actual Walt Disney ears but I do have these and a few others but most of my ears are from Etsy now I'm going to Caramel Kush to get my popcorn I just wonder if all these people know that mobile order is a thing. Literally, order it while you're walking and go pick it up. No line. It's that easy. I understand not everywhere has mobile order and Camel Cooch actually just got it, but you know, check the app. You'll realize this is a really big bag. It definitely was not this big of a bag last time, but I'm definitely gonna have this for days. Last time I got this, I literally yeah. ate it at school like for the next three weeks. <laughs> It is so good. It's really good. I'm about to eat some. I am on the Three Caballeros ride by myself. There is nobody in the car with me. This is I don't know why they wouldn't let me get the front. But I'm on the ride by myself because my chaperone for the trip wanted us back earlier than we were originally told and I'm almost positive it has something to do with winning some competition that I don't really care about like I'm not trying to be that person but I paid a lot of money to be on this vacation and I would like to spend it doing you know something nice and I had my own separate plans I don't see why I have to do what they're doing I just want to take a minute to say it's so great to have all of the animatronics back. I was looking at cardboard cutouts for quite a while. Oh, and also plants. Fun times, fun times. Wish I I don't know. That popcorn kind of made me sick a little bit. Either that or I'm just mad over these texts that I'm getting. We're leaving now and I'm crying my eyes. This is gonna be the end of the vlog because we're about to go to bed, so <laughs> good night. <laughs>